the 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 Jonah thing, the um, Bronson Reed return is the big news for tonight. Hey, real quick about him, about him before we move on, was he not under New Japan contract? No, he was not under a New Japan contract. Just had like a per deal. They let a guy on a nightly deal beat Okada. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Carl Anderson wasn't on either. He and he's the never champion. Yeah, never champion is one thing. Beating Okada. Well, I mean, the one thing is, is I think that they, when he beat him, I think that they were, um, they had an agreement, I'm pretty sure, with him that he would work that show. And and also, at that time, when he beat Okada, at that point, I don't think that there was that much as far as movement of him going back at that point. You know, I think that came a little bit later. And, um, you know, so I mean, but yeah, yeah, I mean, you beat, you know, it is possible the way things could have worked out is he could have beat Okada, gone unpinnable in the G1 and then left and it would have kind of left New Japan kind of in a lurch that that could have happened. But I mean, from a professional standpoint, he did do the job, you know, for Okada, uh, you know, which I guess turned out to be on the way out. Um, so it all worked out. Okay. Um, but you know, I mean, and I, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure he had internal debates because New Japan really treated him well. I mean, as far as, um, you know, he was, you know, he, you know, I mean, there's a lot of guys there, and I mean, that are, that are very, very talented, like Jeff Cobb, who they could have done the exact same thing for, and they went with him um, because he was new and and. Uh, you know, um, and he got, you know, and he did get over. He got over, though, because they, they, they pushed him to get over. I mean, they could have, they could have, you know, done the same thing with him that they did with some other guys that, that they didn't really push. So, um, you know, and, and, and I don't know, like I said, like in WWE, will he reach that level? Um, you know, I don't want to doom him and say no, but um, it's a pretty high level. And there's a lot of guys in WWE, you know, it's a, it's uh, really, uh, you know, I mean, there's a, a lot, a lot of guys, and there's a finite number of top spots. But he's coming in, and uh, you know, with Miz, which is, um, you know, if it's one of those things, you know, you you when when you do that thing with Miz and everything like that, generally with WWE, it's it's a role where you are in that role for a while, and you build heat between them, and then you go babyface against him, um, you know. We've seen that a million times. It's that's WWE, you know, one of those things. So that's probably his trajectory is to be with Miz, you know, for a while and then lead to the split and then the baby face run. And then we'll see at that level, you know, how much he gets over. Sometimes guys get over like that and sometimes they don't. I mean, tonight I think it was really interesting watching because, you know, it was a regular show. And then Miz and Dexter Loomis had that ladder match. And until the tables came out well into the match, which was a very long match, that crowd was dead. I mean, it's like yeah. it went immediate silence um, for a long time uh, for, you know, what was the you know, you know ladder match, you know, which how, how often do you get ladder matches on WWE television? Very rare. And, you know, a storyline that's had a lot of uh, TV time and, and depth by WWE standards devoted to it but it's like um i mean i was that was one of the things watching the show is like i mean you know they can't watch i mean yes they did get a little bit of a reaction using the weapons and everything like that and and you know once you tease the tables people are gonna you know the, the but the reaction was for tables the reaction was not for we want to see dexter loomis beat the miz so it was um you know it was the the match wasn't over you know, as far as just being a match in the feud and everything like that. So, the thing so, is with Dexter Loomis is he's like the Frankenstein monster. He's just this stoic monster. And like Gargano is like his, you know, his Guy Friday or whatever. He's you know, Dr. Frankenstein who leads the monster around. And it's very hard to get sympathy for a character like that. Uh, yeah. Because he doesn't really sell... He doesn't have incredible facial expressions. He's not particularly sympathetic. You don't want to be him. And he's also not. He's also not very dynamic in the ring. Well, there's that. I mean, like, what he he, he doesn't do anything special. He's just uh, try to be nice about it. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, I mean, no, he doesn't. He you know, it's especially now today where 
You know, it's like it's not like the 80s where you have a whole bunch of guys who don't do much, but they get by on their bodies and personalities. Like today, I mean, everyone in that Raw show, with very few exceptions, you know, I mean, um, really are, 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 are spectacular. And like Miz would, might be the exception, but Miz is such a great talker. So he has his role, you know, and again, and Miz is not there to be a main eventer anyway. Um, Miz has the, has the role, um, you know, of All that. All the young guys work with Miz. The what? NXT guys, they give him every, they give him Logan Paul, they give him Ciampa, Gargano, uh, they give him all the, all the, the introductory guys, it seems like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and, 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 and in this case, uh, you yeah, know, Bronson Reed. Reed. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, you know, um, and Loom, you know, Loomis, but Loomis was the one, I mean, in most cases, it does work. Uh, this is the one case, what's the exception, where it really, where I'm just watching it going like, the segment is just not, I mean, it's so dead. It's just not clicking. But uh, I don't know if we should start. I had start a friend there with... who was there, and I asked him what the reaction was to Bronson Reed, uh, and he was like the live crowd had no idea who he was. But he's, they, they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. I mean, like, like again, like, like the live WWE crowd, um, there are times if it's, if it was like, like again, some people in, NXT, like if Adam Cole would have come up, you know, they would have reacted giant or so, something like that. But a lot of the NXT people, um, when they go up to the main roster or when they do the the, the uh, main event tapings, you know, because they bring a lot. They had Axiom in this week and they had um, 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 Andre Chase in this week. And, um, you know, in a lot of those cases, um, you know, they, the live crowd doesn't really – the people who go – to see WWE live events, a lot of them don't know this group of NXT people. Right. So, um, and this is, this is now, you know, in the case of Bronson Reed, I mean, he'd been off for months and months and months. So, um, you know, and, and I, I think that they know that. I don't think that they expected people would know him, um, you know, as their audience, as far as their, their main roster audience. I don't think they expected, like, this giant pop when he came out, um, you know. But it's somebody new and, uh, you know. Like everything, it's all about follow up. What part do you love about this job, Granny? Nothing. When you when you irritate me, <laughs> you make me mad. I I guess seeing seeing you guys. When you week. needle me, quit yeah. talking over me. Sorry. If Granny, this person asks, could leave only one thing in her will for Brian, <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? Rufus versus Roman Reigns. 2016. Rufus. Rufus, Rufus on barricade. Rufus comes back, drops reins on the top rope. <laughs> Rufus has a temper tantrum because only two count. Do you know that we put a clip of you on the internet last week? And these people on the internet are so dumb that they thought that we hired an actor to play you. No. Mm -hmm. uh, eh, forget yeah. about it. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.